Have you ever stopped to think about just how incredible wireless earbuds are? You pop them in your ears, hit play, and boom, your favorite song streams in crystal clear. No chords, no tangles, just pure sound floating through the air. But here's the thing, how does that even work? How can such tiny gadgets pump out rich audio, stay synced with your device, and somehow know when to pause your podcast when you take one out? Today, we're diving deep into the magic and the tech behind How Do Wireless Earbuds Work? By the end of this video, you'll know exactly what's going on inside those little pods in your ears, right here on History of Simple Things. Let's start with the heart of wireless earbuds, Bluetooth technology. Bluetooth is a wireless communication standard that lets devices send and receive data over short distances, typically within about 30 feet. Think of it like a tiny invisible radio station in your earbuds talking directly to your phone. When you connect your earbuds to your phone, they're establishing a Bluetooth link. This link allows your phone to transmit audio data, your music, calls, or videos to your earbuds. But here's the catch. That audio file on your phone is huge compared to what your earbuds can process in real time. So the audio is compressed using a codec like SBC, AAC, or AptX, which shrinks the file size while preserving as much sound quality as possible. Once the data arrives at your earbuds, it's decoded and converted into sound that you can actually hear. And this whole process happens so fast, you don't even notice it. Inside each earbud is a microchip, and believe it or not, this is a tiny but powerful computer. It handles all sorts of things, managing the Bluetooth connection, controlling power usage, decoding the audio data, and even syncing the left and right earbuds so they play in perfect harmony. In most cases, one earbud, usually the right one, acts as the master. It receives the audio signal from your phone and then shares it with the other earbud. But newer models use a system called True Wireless Stereo Plus, or Dual Transmission, where both earbuds receive signals independently, making them more reliable and efficient. Once the audio is decoded, it still needs to be turned into actual sound waves. This is where the driver comes in. No, not the Uber kind. The driver is basically a tiny speaker inside each earbud. It converts the digital audio signal into vibrations that move air, which your ears then interpret as sound. There are different types of drivers, dynamic, balanced armature, planar magnetic, but most wireless earbuds use dynamic drivers because they're compact and provide a good balance of bass, mids, and highs. Despite their tiny size, manufacturers have become incredibly skilled at tuning these drivers to produce surprisingly rich, detailed sound. It's kind of like fitting a full orchestra into a pair of jelly beans. Now think about this. When you're watching a video, the sound needs to match the picture perfectly. That's where latency comes in. Latency is the slight delay between when the sound leaves your device and when you actually hear it. Lower latency means less delay and a better experience, especially for gamers or video watchers. Earbud manufacturers use optimized Bluetooth protocols and faster codecs, like Aptex Low Latency or LC3 and Bluetooth LE Audio, to reduce this lag. Some also use internal syncing algorithms to make sure both earbuds stay in time with each other and with your device. You've probably heard of active noise cancellation, or ANC. This is where wireless earbuds really start to feel like sci-fi. Here's how it works. Microphones on the outside 
and sometimes inside of the earbuds, constantly listen to the world around you. Then, the internal chip generates an opposite sound wave that cancels out the noise. So, if you're on a plane and there's a low hum of the engines, ANSI produces an anti-hum. The result? Silence, or at least a much quieter background. It's not perfect for every sound, like sudden claps or voices, but it works shockingly well for consistent noises. Some earbuds also have transparency mode, which does the opposite. It lets outside sound in so you can hear announcements or talk to someone without removing them. Ever wonder how your earbuds know when they're in your ears? Or how they pause music when you take one out? That's thanks to proximity sensors and sometimes even accelerometers. These sensors detect whether the earbud is in place, and some models can even tell if you're walking, running, or standing still. Advanced earbuds use this data to adjust sound profiles, reduce wind noise during calls, or even change settings automatically based on your activity. It's a lot of intelligence packed into something smaller than a coin. Let's not forget about calls. One of the unsung heroes of wireless earbuds is the microphone system. Most use multiple mics, usually two or three per earbud, to pick up your voice and cancel out background noise during calls. Some earbuds use beamforming technology, which focuses the mic's pickup on your voice and reduces everything else. Others use bone conduction sensors that detect vibrations in your jaw when you speak, making your voice clearer even in noisy environments. So when you're walking through a windy street and your friend still hears you clearly, that's no accident. It's smart engineering. So what's next? The future of wireless earbuds is already in motion. We're seeing developments in biometric sensors like heart rate monitors, temperature sensors, and even fitness tracking. Voice assistants are becoming more deeply integrated, and new audio formats like spatial audio are turning simple music playback into immersive experiences. So the next time you put on your wireless earbuds and hit play, take a moment to appreciate the tiny marvel of engineering inside. These devices are the result of decades of innovation, miniaturization, and problem solving, all to bring us clear wireless sound on the go. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.